Welcome, fitness enthusiasts! Before we dive into today's chest workout, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more workout plans. Today we're focusing on a 30-minute chest workout designed to get those pectorals popping. We're talking incline dumbbell bench presses, dumbbell bench presses, dumbbell chest flies, and good old-fashioned push-ups. All you need are your trusty dumbbells and a bit of determination. Without further ado, grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Our first exercise is the incline dumbbell bench press. This exercise is a fantastic chest builder, targeting the upper pecs and front deltoids. It's a great addition to any chest workout, helping to add depth and dimension to your upper body. Let's break it down. First, set your bench to an incline of about 45 degrees. This is the sweet spot that allows for optimal chest activation. Next, pick up your dumbbells. Remember, you want to select a weight that challenges you but allows for proper form. To start, sit down on your bench with a dumbbell in each hand resting on your thighs. Then lean back and bring the dumbbells to the side of your chest. Your palms should be facing towards your feet. This is your starting position. Now exhale and push the dumbbells up with your chest. The dumbbell should be just above your chest, and your arm should be fully extended at a 90-degree angle from your body. Hold this position for a moment at the top, squeezing your chest muscles for that extra bit of engagement. Then lower the weight slowly, feeling the stretch in your chest and front deltoids. Inhale as you do this. You want to control the weight on the way down, not letting gravity do the work for you. This is where a lot of the muscle building happens, so don't rush it. That's one rep. Aim to do between 7 and 15 repetitions for 3 sets. If you can't reach 7 reps, the weight is too heavy. If you can easily do more than 15, it's time to up the weight. But remember, it's not about how much weight you lift, but how you lift it. Quality always beats quantity when it comes to lifting. So focus on maintaining a controlled movement and proper form throughout. That's your incline dumbbell bench press. Remember, form is everything. Moving on, we have the dumbbell bench press. This exercise is a classic and for good reason. It targets your chest muscles but also engages your shoulders and triceps, making it a comprehensive upper body move. To start with, lie flat on your back on a bench. Keep your feet flat on the ground and your back pressed against the bench. This is your starting position. Now hold a dumbbell in each hand, positioned at shoulder width. The palms of your hands should be facing towards your feet. This is your grip. Begin by pushing the dumbbells up. Keep your arms fully extended with a slight bend at the elbows to prevent strain. This upward movement should be done in a controlled manner. Remember, it's not about speed but about precision and engaging the right muscles. Once your arms are fully extended, pause for a moment. Feel the tension in your chest muscles. This is where the magic happens. Now, slowly lower the dumbbells back down to the starting position. This downward motion should be slower than the upward push. It's during this phase that your muscles are working against gravity, providing an excellent opportunity for muscle growth. That's the dumbbell bench press. Simple, yet effective. For this exercise, we're aiming for two sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. Remember, it's not about heaving as much weight as you can. It's about controlled, deliberate movement. Quality over quantity, always. Ensure that you take a break between your sets. Catch your breath, hydrate, and then get back to it. It's important not to rush. Your muscles need time to recover to get the most benefit from the exercise. Consistency is key in any workout routine. The more regularly you perform these exercises, the better your results will be. Great job on your dumbbell bench press. Keep that energy going. Scene script. Next up, the dumbbell chest fly on the bench. This exercise is a fantastic way to isolate those chest muscles, giving you that defined, strong look. But remember, form over speed, always. Let's go through the steps together, shall we? Begin by sitting down on a flat bench with a dumbbell in each hand resting on your thighs. The palms of your hands should be facing each other. Now lie back on the bench, keeping the dumbbells close to your chest. Once you're lying flat, press the dumbbells up over your chest. Your feet should be firmly planted on the ground, creating a stable base. With a slight bend in your elbows, lower your arms out at both sides in a wide arc until you feel a stretch in your chest. The dumbbell should be just about level with your chest. Concentrate on keeping your shoulders locked into the bench. This will help keep the focus on your chest muscles and prevent any unnecessary strain on your shoulders. Now use your chest to push the dumbbells back up to the starting position. Squeeze your chest muscles as you do this, really making every rep count. Remember this isn't about hoisting as much weight as possible. 
It's about controlled, measured movements that engage your chest muscles effectively. We're aiming for three sets of 12 to 15 reps here. Take a rest of about one minute between each set. This gives your muscles a chance to recover, but keeps the intensity of the workout high. Keep your movements smooth and controlled. Don't let the dumbbells touch at the top. You want to keep the tension in your chest muscles. Stay focused on your form throughout the exercise. It may be a challenge, but that's how we grow stronger. Remember to breathe. Inhale as you lower the weights and exhale as you push them back up. That's it for the dumbbell chest fly. Keep pushing, we're almost there. Finally, we wrap up with push-ups. A true classic in the realm of body weight exercises. They're simple yet highly effective for building strength and endurance. Now you might be thinking, I know how to do a push-up, but let's revisit the basics just to make sure we're all on the same page and then we'll push beyond. Start by placing your hands on the floor, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your fingers should be spread wide for balance, and your palms should be flat against the floor. Now stretch out your legs behind you, resting on the balls of your feet. This is your starting position, a plank. It's important to maintain a straight line from your head to your heels throughout the exercise. Next, lower your body by bending your elbows while keeping them close to your body. A common mistake is flaring out the elbows, which can strain your shoulders, so keep them tucked in. Sink down until your chest almost touches the floor. This is your bottom position. Now push your body up, extending your arms fully, but without locking your elbows. This is your top position. Congratulations, you've just completed one rep of a push-up. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about control and form. The slower you go, the more you engage your muscles. And that's what we want. Now let's get into the main event. Do three sets of push-ups aiming for as many reps as you can in each set. Rest for 60 seconds between each set. If you find it challenging to keep up, don't worry. It's all about progress, not perfection. Push-ups are a fantastic exercise because they work multiple muscle groups at once, including your chest, shoulders, and core. And the best part? You can do them anywhere, anytime. So there you have it. The humble push-up, a small exercise that packs a big punch, push through and I promise you'll feel the burn and see the gains. Great work on those push-ups. That's all for today's workout. That was a fantastic session. Let's quickly recap the workout plan. We kicked things off with three sets of incline dumbbell bench press, aiming for 7 to 15 reps. Then, it was on to the dumbbell bench press for two sets of 12 to 15 reps. Next, we tackled the dumbbell chest fly, pushing for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. And finally, we rounded out with push-ups, going for as many reps as possible in three sets. Thanks for joining in today's chest workout. Stay tuned for more, and remember, your fitness journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep going!